Hi, I'm Holly, and I'm part of the stewardship team at Credit Valley Conservation. Birds bring plenty of color and delight to your property. Many people install bird feeders to attract more birds, but they need more than just food. Birds need places to nest and rest too. The easiest way to create bird habitat is to leave dead or dying trees like this one standing when it's safe to do so. Many birds like to nest in the cavities of these trees and they're often filled with insects that birds love to eat. If you don't have any dead or dying trees standing on your property, then bird boxes are a great alternative. This is Lee, he's a nesting box expert here to teach us about bird boxes and how you can add one to your property. We have a variety of nest boxes here at CVC which are designed to mimic natural cavities that a native species might use. Uh, this is an example of a tree swallow box here and they're a common species here in southern Ontario. You can see on the front here it has an entrance hole. The size of this entrance hole helps determine which species are going to use the box. We have varying sizes. The, on the side of the box you can see here there's a, there's a latch that can be opened and the side door gives us access into here and we can clean out the nesting material after it's uh, the end of the breeding season and then also we can access in here for, for this particular species we can add wood shavings to provide a nice cushion to the bottom of the nest. We have a roof on the top that uh, helps keep the inside nice and dry. We have a nice sturdy floor that supports the nest on the inside. You can also see uh, the corners of the floor are cut out and that's just in case we get moisture inside the box, it, it allows for drainage. Some boxes, like some of these larger ones, like this wood duck box, have a ladder etched into the panel on the inside of the front that allows the, the baby birds to climb out when they're ready to take their first flight and exit. The tree swallow box, this one does not have a ladder on the inside, it's small enough that it's not required. It's best to keep them as a natural finish, so no paint or stain. This allows them to blend into the natural environment. We want to place them in a sturdy location. So whether that's on the trunk of a tree, on a wooden pole or a metal pole, that can really vary, but you just need to make sure that when they're installed that they're very sturdy so they can withstand a strong wind. But some species are pickier than others about the location that they like them in. For example, a bluebird likes to be in an open area. Um, they like their nest box to be facing east. So um, you need to make sure that, that you're really following those locations and using the habitat that you have available to you on your property to attract a species that's actually going to use that, that area. Predators can also be a problem, things like raccoons. So um, you can use a predator guard. There's varying styles of these. We use a, a square style predator guard, but there are cone styles and varying other ones that, that help keep the birds inside safe. CVC makes inviting birds to your property easy. You can purchase bird boxes directly from us and you may be eligible for funding to offset the cost of purchase and installation through our Landowner Action Fund. For more information, contact a stewardship coordinator by emailing stewardship at cvc.ca.